guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. So I actually decided to do back-to-back -back reviews. I decided to do seven days of reviews, first impressions, try-ons. And I asked you guys on Instagram what products I should try. And I really got exciting bits. One just came in the post right now, which I film probably tomorrow. I've got some really cool products that recently released, but I'm really excited about today's one. Today, we're gonna be trying out the Revolution Glow Face and Body Foundation. I've been seeing this everywhere. This is a new release. I'm not gonna lie. I have tried it a few times and I mean, you're just gonna have to watch the video to see. My my earring is literally hanging on for dear life. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to La Queen Creole. I really appreciate your really sweet comment. Um, it really made my day, so thank you so much. Um, and if you guys wanna get a shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below, or you can just leave a nice comment. So today I'm using half daylight and half a uh, light light because I don't know what happened to the UK weather but you know what I'm used to it I'm just used to it it's June it's gloomy and it's raining outside guys if you didn't know <sighs> I'm sad I'm sad but do you know what let's just take the earrings off I can't be asked and those are I mean they're beautiful but they were dragging my ears down so yeah today's review is going to be on this which i'll jump into straight away but make sure to subscribe so you can tune in for the next reviews that are going to come i'm going to do my best to post every day back to back videos oh my god guys i know we can do it we could do it i would very much appreciate all the love and support that you guys can give um, and definitely subscribe guys it really helps your girl out so i bought the foundation for 15 pounds they have 15 shades in this foundation and you know that i would say there's a good range of it considering that there's only 15 which i wouldn't mind for like a face and body kind of foundation i got the shade 11.2 that's my shade in like all their foundation products. It's a lightweight water-based liquid foundation with sheer to buildable coverage and it has a satin finish. It's non-sticky. It gives a perfect base to even out your skin tone whilst allowing your skin to breathe. It's got vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and it leaves your skin looking brighter and feeling hydrated throughout the day. So they actually have a body fixing spray so that it doesn't transfer onto clothes if you do want to use this on your body if you want to like do a little fake tan or anything like that or just even out your skin tone and um, they have a spray that goes with it i don't have that today i'm going to be using it on my face love that it's vegan cruelty free i'm just using a little bit of spf we need it and i'm also going to put a bit of primer i'm going to use my radiant glow primer serum by freshly cosmetics i've been loving this and to be honest um, my other favourite is the Fenty Beauty Primer, the Pro Filter one. I don't usually wear primer in, in my reviews, but I think I'm going to change that up because... I mean, I do wear primer. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to put it on one side. I'm going to put it on one side, but whenever I go out and stuff, I do put primer. So... And this one's so nice, oh my god. It just definitely reminds me of the MAC Face and Body. I'm just going to do... To be honest, you really don't need much. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush. I'm gonna do the non-primer side first. It just blends beautifully. Is the line too bright? One thing I would say is that it has a scent to it, but that's like one side done and that's without any product. Out of all their like foundation products, I feel like this one matches me the best. Now I have tanned a bit, I've been in the sun a lot. And this has a very vanilla -y... I don't know what the smell is, but it has a fruity scent. I don't really like it when my foundation products have a scent to it, but you know, this one, I don't mind it too much. It's not too strong, but yeah, I'm done. It blends so nicely. I'm just going to put a little bit on my scarring that I have here. I would say it definitely gives like medium coverage. I wouldn't say full. Because if it was full, it would just camouflage these two scars here. But medium coverage, I would say. So as you can see, it matches me perfectly. It's glowy. It's skin-like. I just love it. It blended so nicely, right? And you can use this with a sponge or a brush. It's a bit more natural lighting, but there we go. That's my skin. I 
I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I did a quick little makeup. I'm feeling pink today. I don't know why I got a little pink gloss on. Um, I love me nails. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but this just looks like butter on skin. Like, it's it just melts into my skin. It looks soft, and I don't feel the need to powder this all over. Um, like the glowish skin tint. Um, but this is like stunning even with my mac face and body like i would usually powder all over but with this like it stays on it doesn't feel sticky blends beautifully it covers okay like i, I don't really look for full full coverage anymore in products when before i was all about that um but yeah this sits beautifully on the skin i definitely love it um obviously i'm gonna wear this throughout the day so i can show you guys how this wears um on the skin it's just 10 a.m so yeah, we're gonna wear this throughout the day. I don't know, like, this is definitely a product I'm happy to wear throughout the summer. It matches me so nice and it makes my skin look dull, like, without being too heavy. It's definitely lightweight, guys. Um, and I love that it has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in it. Like, it just helps the skin too. So, yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm gonna stop blabbering. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and I'll see you guys later on. I woke up from my nap. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's 5.51 just about six and when it's for around seven hours let's just make myself a bit more presentable guys i just took a good two hour nap and my makeup's still on <laughs> it's still on there's no patchiness or anything it's a little bit shiny but not too much it's just mainly on my t-zone but my cheeks are literally intact i don't know it's holding up pretty pretty good for seven hours and considering the fact that i was laying on my face for two hours <laughs> um i also did a workout I was sweating so yeah i i don't know about you guys i just i think it's a really really nice product i also love the fact that they're coming out with bomb makeup without needing to test on animals like that is a huge plus for me didn't get any smile lines i got good coverage skin still looks nice i would definitely say like if you have oily skin you might need to powder throughout the day but for me i'm pretty happy with it no dryness no weirdness like i definitely trust this product like if i'm going out i'm, de I'm definitely trust it 100 percent. i would give this a solid 9 out of 10 they only have 15 shades which is fine for like a release of a product i feel like they've got so many products with like amazing sh shade ranges but if this is like a really nice product that everyone's gonna love um they can definitely add some more shades in i also noticed that there wasn't the palest one was only two which was shocking to me because i know that it goes to like 0.5 or something for them and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this first review of my little series is it a series i'm gonna call it a series thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and um, make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next upcoming videos and um, give this video a like because it really helps your girl out and i will see you in my next video i love you guys bye